In the early days of SpaceX, when founder Musk first proposed his grand vision of reusable rockets, the idea was met with considerable skepticism. The very concept seemed to be ripped straight from the pages of a science fiction novel. After all, rockets had always been a single-use commodity. Once a rocket was launched, its components would fall back to Earth, often becoming expensive high-speed debris. No one seriously considered the notion of catching and reusing these components. The cost, complexity, and risk were thought to be prohibitive. When Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, the space industry was largely controlled by a few well-established players, both at the governmental level and within the private sector. At the governmental level, entities like NASA in the United States, the European Space Agency in Europe, Roscosmos in Russia, and others like the Chinese National Space Administration and the Indian Space Research Organization had been making significant strides in space exploration for decades. On the private sector front, companies such as Lockheed Martin and Boeing in the United States, along with Airbus in Europe, had been at the forefront of building and launching spacecraft. Musk's initial aim of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars was deemed by many as overly ambitious and even unfeasible. Despite the doubts, SpaceX, under Musk's leadership, dared to innovate where others would not. The Falcon 1, their first launch vehicle, was designed from the ground up with reusability in mind. While its initial flights encountered significant setbacks, each failure led to crucial improvements. These iterative design changes laid the groundwork for the Falcon 9, a rocket that would forever change the course of space travel. The Falcon 9, named after the Star Wars Millennium Falcon and its nine engines, was designed with a high degree of reusability in mind. Each first stage booster was designed to return to Earth, landing vertically, a concept that had previously only existed in the realm of science fiction. Fast forward to the present day, and it's clear that Musk's relentless pursuit of reusability has paid off. The Falcon 9 has achieved feats that were unthinkable two decades ago. In July 2023, the Falcon 9 first stage boosters, B-1058 and B-1060, were launched and returned twice in a single week. This achievement marked the 16th flight for these boosters, which are designed to last for at least 20 flights. Even in the past, Musk stated that he has ambitious vision of reusing rocket boosters as many as a hundred times. Given the strides that the Falcon 9 has made thus far, it is becoming increasingly clear that this goal, while ambitious, is far from being a mere pipe dream. Current milestones that have been accomplished with the Falcon 9 render make even 40 or 50 launches with the same booster look achievable. Compared to other reusable rockets worldwide, none have achieved the level of reusability that the Falcon 9 has mastered. Consider, for instance, Ariane 5. Manufactured by the European aerospace company Ariane Space, the Ariane 5 holds an impressive track record of 117 flights. However, the impressive flight counts notwithstanding, the Ariane 5 was designed as an expendable launch system and lacks the capability for reusability. Similarly, the Soyuz rocket, long considered the workhorse of Russia's space program, has seen numerous iterations and upgrades since its first flight in 1966. Yet it too has traditionally been a single-use rocket, with its components falling into the ocean or onto land in remote regions of Russia, and it does not have any features to facilitate reusability. This positions the Falcon 9 in a league of its own. Not only does it tower above past and present rockets in its achievements in reusability, but it is also setting the trend for future rockets. Over time, SpaceX has gotten so good at launching and reusing their rockets quickly and frequently, that it almost feels routine or boring. They have significantly cut down the turnaround time for its rocket from several months to less than a month. But now several other companies are coming up with new rockets to give SpaceX a run for its money. United Launch Alliance, or ULA, has a new rocket called Vulcan. ULA is a reliable company, and with Vulcan, they are hoping to bring down costs while maintaining their strong record of successful launches. Relativity Space is another company that's interesting because they're making their rocket, the Terran R, almost entirely from 3D printing. This could make building rockets quicker, cheaper, and less complicated. Firefly's rocket, Alpha, is a bit smaller than the others, but that's not a bad thing. They're hoping to become the go-to choice for smaller satellites that want their own ride to space instead of sharing a bigger rocket with other satellites. 
Blue Origin's new Glenn is a big rocket that can carry a lot of stuff into space. It might make more ambitious space missions possible and help place larger satellites in orbit. Lastly, there's Rocket Lab, a company that's taking direct aim at SpaceX. They're working on a new rocket called Neutron, and it might be a game changer. They're planning to make it reusable like the Falcon 9, but they're hoping to offer launches at a price of $50 million. That's $17 million cheaper than a Falcon 9 launch right now. Back in 2018, SpaceX launched an upgraded version of their Falcon 9 rocket. They called it the Block 5. This was a big deal because the Block 5 was designed to be reused many times, which would make it cheaper to fly stuff to space in the long run. They made the engine stronger, put better heat shields to protect it during re-entry, improved the grid fins that help steer the rocket, and made the landing legs more robust, all to make sure the rocket could be used over and over again. Before the Block 5, SpaceX had to spend a lot of time getting their rockets ready to fly again. On average, it took them about 356 days, or almost a year. But with the Block 5, they managed to cut that time way down to just 107 days. That's about a third of the time it used to take. They even set a record by getting one of these rockets ready to fly again in just 21 days. But SpaceX has even bigger goals. They want to get to a point where they can refurbish and fly a rocket again in just 24 hours, much like how airlines operate their planes. Imagine this. A rocket launches, comes back to Earth, gets a quick checkup and maybe some minor repairs, and then it's ready to fly again the next day. That's what SpaceX is working towards with the Falcon 9 Block 5, and it's part of the reason why they've been so successful in the space business. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.